Hello everyone, Palace Poison here. Welcome to Fog of Life 2, which is a horror game of sorts. I've never played Fog of Life 1, so I don't really know anything about that. Or the lore, or the backstory, or anything about it. Uh, uh, which is how I like it. Blind playthroughs, that's me in a nutshell. But apparently there is single player and multiplayer available in this. And you can check it out for yourself if you want to using the link down below. Uh, as usual so let's just go ahead and jump right into the single-player experience okay so we have various chapters apparently I'm just gonna go with chapter one here and I'm dropped right in literally okay we have a tent all right so let's see here jump check crouch no uh, sprint? Yes. Okay. So we can't crouch. At least yet. Not yet. Uh, not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. Here's a clearing. I'm gonna go that way. I don't know if there's something after us or what. I, like I said, this blind playthrough. So, we will see what we will see. Right now, there's not a whole lot to see. We're in Silent Hill. Here's a car. Good start. Oh. Looks like the vegetation is clipped through my vehicle. Or this vehicle. It might not even be mine. Ah, here's something. Med kit. Uh oh. <laughs> do I have an inventory? I do, and I can craft apparently. What the crafting? Fireplace. I need wood. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't want to craft that. Or f why is it a fireplace? Like campfire, you mean? Oops. Nope. Sorry. Back to the, back to the game. Okay. So I want to get off of that. What's this? Ah, uh, map. Let's use the map. All right. So there's the car. So apparently the tower is straight ahead. Let's go. We'll have our map up. We're Minecraft style. Let's see if this indeed goes to the tower. Or a tower, because there's more than one tower. We're going to the tower by my thumb, I think. I'm going to go faster. Alright, tree. Tree's not on the map. All right, here we go. Tower, yeah. All right, good. Can I just press M to put the map away? No, I have to physically unuse it. How do I make it go away? Or just permanently have this in my hand? Let's not put railings on door. Door clip. Wow, we really bounced up them steps, didn't we? Like, do, 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 do. Okay. Some kind of a rug. Got a drawer that's already open. And a note. Uh, okay, I picked up a note. What is this? Compass. Map. I picked up a note, though. Where's my note? What are these various things? A branch, nailed branch, wood trap. Okay. Well, I picked up a note, but I don't know. Maybe because I had the map in my hand, I couldn't read it, and it's not in my inventory. So that's a bummer. A shotgun shell. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, man. It's freaking dark. I think I should take that lantern, if I can. Give me lantern. Okay, now I have lantern. So I'm going to, is this the lantern? What a weird icon for a lantern. Provides portable light. This is a left hand item. What? Am I being murdered? Good God, where the hell did you come from? 
Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but I'm running away now into the darkness. <laughs> oh god! He killed me! He's making dog noises. Did you hear that? Is I guess it I'm okay, spawned back at the ranch here. Alright. Uh let's look at the map again. So I'm somewhere. Things have changed. Okay. All right, well, let's just go running around. So apparently you can play this with friends, but I'm not entirely sure what the main objective is currently. Here I am just trying to, you know, I've reached an invisible wall. Just trying to enjoy myself, and that crazed maniac just comes flying at me while I'm busy in my inventory. No idea where I'm at on the map. There's not a you are here that shows up on it. Invisible wall. Uh, the music has intensified slightly. Tree. What a vast wasteland of nothingness. Another tree. You know, I, I, I just assumed I would come across something by now, because there's a lot of things on the map. But there doesn't seem to be a lot... Oh, wait. Yeah, here's a tower. Because it worked out so well for me last time. I guess I need to be faster. I got the note again that doesn't actually show up anywhere. Got whatever that was. Can't open those. Can't close the door. I have an axe. Uh, I picked up a compass. Oh, a watch. Tells the time in the left hand. Alright, use it. Alright, so that's the time. What is this? Oh, that's a compass. Okay. Alright, I got the axe. I can chop. Alright, so I have a way to fight back against that thing if it shows up again. You can kind of see, if you don't look straight at something, you can see out of the corner of your eye. That thing freaking chased me down and killed me pretty easily. So I don't really want to come across that thing again. If I do, I will do my best to survive. I don't know if it shows up at a certain time. Okay, now it's going to be dark and I'm not going to be able to see a damn thing because I don't have any light source whatsoever. Can I chop down a tree and get some wood? Okay, now it's dark. I don't know if I'm making any progress with this tree or if it's... Can I not cut it down? That doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Alright. Oh god, there it is. Alright, well, I gave him a few good whacks there. Look at it, there it goes. Scuttling away. All right, let's look at the map this time. Huh. Something in the... I don't know where I'm at, so I have nothing to go by. This time the car's way up... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's just follow... Oh, now I have a journal entry, apparently. Has that always been the case? 
If you get to the village, it's not safe outside. You should find a weapon as soon as possible. Okay, cool. Great. Here's one of these towers. Whoops. Up, 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 up. You know what might help is if you close the door behind you. Got a note, so assuming that's in my journal. Got a med kit and the old shotgun shell. It'd be nice if I had the shotgun to go with it, but I do not. Last time I found an axe on the balcony area here. And I found it again. Yay me. Alright, so now I have an axe. Not that it does any good against the monster that kills you super fast. Let's get the axe out. It's gonna be dark soon. Is this the way back to my tent? Am I just backtracking? So I found a tower. I don't know which tower it is on the map. You need at least two landmarks. The tent's not one of them. Ugh, this kind of ends. Okay. Alright, here's a building of sorts. Oh, it's a church. Piano. Alright, gonna run some more. Tree. Something else ahead. Oh, it's the church again. I just went in a big circle. I am... There we go. Can I get wood from this? I mean, I don't want to desecrate a church or anything, but... I don't know how to make things. Wait, I can't have my axe out and my lantern at the same time? Oh, yeah, I can. Alright, so I'm just going to run around and hold this button. Calling an audible and going this way. So, only thing I can do is run around until the thing finds me and then die. This is hard. Swing! 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 It's more of a hatchet than an axe. An axe would be a two-handed weapon. At least we can see the ground. Oh, wait. What was that? A stick? Oh, whoa, good lord, it kicked my ass that time. <laughs> Alright, I think I've seen enough. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main menu. So that's Fog of Life 2. Uh, good luck. That's <laughs> super hard. Uh, maybe it's a little bit easier with friends. It probably is. And you can pool resources and fight the thing off together. Uh, yeah, so... Let me know what you thought of the game down in the, in the uh, comments below. If you liked the video, please click the like button. That would help an awful lot. And if you haven't already, I'd be oh so grateful if you were to subscribe. And I thank you. Anyway, that's going to do it for me in this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!